Hi guys, this is Michelle, and I'm here today to share a little project of um, something that I'm going to be repainting that I had in my that I had hanging on my wall um, in my front room. And I actually love this piece, but it unfortunately over time you can kind of see the faded image. I uh, showed I've got some pictures here. I'm going to put in. I'm going to insert here for you, and you can see the knots. In here, there's a few knots in this frame that came through the original design, I guess you would say. And so I used the Zinzer uh, shellac based primer to block those knots. I'm sure a lot of you guys know about that stuff, but it's great. I've used it on furniture piece, my big TV cabinet that was is painted white and the knots came through. So we sanded it down, put that primer on there, and then paint it over, and it works great. So it lasts a long time, especially if you're just using it on the knots. But because this is pine, I did do the whole thing. I did two thin coats of the Zinzer primer on here, and it's kind of got a little bit of a transparent look right now. But I'm what I'm using right now to cover it, I'm going to paint it white. Or actually, this is Waverly chalk paint in the color of plaster. And so I'm going to paint a coat or two of that on here to cover this design completely, cover the board completely. Then I'm going to come back and apply another transfer with the same sort of style as this because, like I said, I love this. It works really great um, on my wall and it was a great piece. It filled the space. So I'm just kind of redoing this and sort of recreating what was already there. So I'm going to get started. Okay, so my white or my coat of uh, plaster chalk paint has dried and so now what I'm going to do is apply some of this satin this is a satin top coat it's water-based and I'm just putting this over my white and this will give better adhesion for the transfer that we're going to put on and Again, I'm trying to replicate what I already had, and I'm using paint that I had, and I didn't have a white satin paint, um, you know, acrylic house paint, whatever, in a satin. So I am using uh, my white chalk paint and now this top coat. Okay, so my top coat has dried. It's a lovely top coat. I should show you guys what I used. This is, um, it's called the from the Couture Collection. It's a couture top coat in a satin finish. And that's what you want to put your transfer on. Uh, it'll stick real nice on this surface. And you guys, this feels like, it's like velvety. It just feels really nice. So that's what I'm using. Uh, well, on here, that's what I used. I'm going to put my transfer on and then do a coat over this transfer in the same top coat to seal it in. So anyways, that's what I used. 
and it's dry. Now I'm going to pull out the transfer. This is um, from Iron Orchid Designs. This is Frond Botanical, it's called. And there's all kinds of pretty designs in here. And what I'm trying to do, like I already told you, is to recreate what I had. And this hangs up by, you know, in my front room next to my TV cabinet, and it covers up an outlet on the wall, and it's just works great. So I just want to recreate what I have. So I want to show you what's on here. There's all kinds of pretty designs, and this one fits really nice, this big fern. I think that's what I'm going to do, but this one here is really pretty too, and I thought about that, but... A little small this one is nice here and you know I'm so afraid to cut into this because it's so pretty but um, this one is nice not as full and I am just gonna go with the one big one because I'm going with the say I'm gonna go with a simple saying on this that I'm gonna stamp on here as well so I'm just gonna cut this out Again, the Frond Botanical, really pretty. You could do a whole series of prints, you know, in frames, just even on the bare glass and not even put anything in it. Could be really pretty with this, I think. So I'm going to position this here, leaving the backing on. And I think I'm just going to go really simple and just keep it just like that. I could turn it, but I think I'm just going to go really simple and using some painter's tape to tape this in place. And then pull out the back. And I'm just going to start putting this transfer on, just using this little stick that comes in the pack. So now we're going to just kind of burnish this on a little bit with the back, just the sheet, just how it was, the, the doll side. Okay, ready? Let me show you. Okay. Here we are. Look at that. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, I love that. I don't know what you guys think, but I think it turned out really nice. Now, what I want to do is I've got my alphabet here. This is called Typeset from Iron Orchid Designs. And I am using a piece of an acetate sheet and like I said, I'm just replicating what I had. So I put the, I have the lower case. I'm not sure if you can see that, but I put the lower case and it says live simply. And so I'm going to just, I centered it on 
the lines. This is stuck on the back side. Yeah, these letters are like really stretchy and they're they stick on the plastic. So I laid out my word just like I would want it to look, live simply, and then this stuff like picks it up like a magnet. It's really kind of cool actually. So I've got my alphabet stuck on, centered, ready to go on my little piece of acetate. And I have another piece of acetate, one of these sheets uh, from Iron Orchid Designs. And that's gonna be my little palette that I'm gonna squeeze this paint on. This is called, this is chalk paint by Folk Art um, in the color Castle from Hobby Lobby. I just bought this in the last few, maybe six months ago. So I'm going to put a nice amount on here of this paint. I have a brayer and I'm going to roll my brayer in my paint. And it's evenly coated. So now what I'm going to do is roll on the paint onto my letters. So there's my paint, and I know it's rushing. water because, you know, in case I make an accident, this really helps this paint dries quickly. So now I'm going to center this between the top and the bottom, and I'm going to put it down, press my letters. And, are you ready? There's my lip simply, and it's already distressed for me. Um, I was gonna sand this a little bit to distress that paint back, but I think I might just leave it just like that. I could paint a little bit extra in that E, but I don't know that I'm gonna do that. And this is a craft project. It is going on my wall and it will be really um, it looks nice. I kind of like it just how it is and I might be sorry that I'm doing this but I just want to re if I can redo that E. I just said it if I could. And that you can see through this stuff. There you go. Now those look darker than everything else, guys. So I could sand that back a little. Um, I could leave it. And I could just go like this. And it took a little off, just like with your lipstick. So anyways, I'm really happy. I love it how it is. And now it's... I. I am going to put another, I'm going to let this paint dry and I'm going to go over it with my top coat again to seal in my transfer and my little uh, chalk paint phrase. Okay guys, so we're all set with this. I think I'm going to leave it alone. I went back over the Y and sometimes you know, it's nice to go back and other times you get in there, you do what you need to do and just get out and leave it alone. So I'm going to leave this alone, let it dry. My transfer is set to go, but this paint does need to dry good. So I'm going to let it go like maybe overnight. Um, and then I'm going to put another coat of this top coat on. I'm going to put another coat of my top coat on and let that dry reattach a little hanger on the back with the staples and then we're going to hang this on the wall so for me that'll be tomorrow for you guys it'll be real quick Alrighty. okay 
So my paint is dry. Now I've got some of my little top coat that I saved from when I painted it the first time in my little applesauce container. And I'm just going to put a top coat on here to seal this in. So we're all finished and here it is. Um, I want to say that if I can do this, you guys can do it too. And it was repurposing something which makes me feel good. And it's just a nice piece. Thanks for hanging out with me today. And don't forget to subscribe and all that stuff if you want to see what's going on around here. And thanks so much for tuning in guys.